Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. So if you can't tell already, your gal is back. Yes, it's been two months since I've been away from home and I just miss my collection so much. You guys know my collection is literally my pride and joy. But throughout this two months, I have been stacking up with my manga hauls. I think I have about five manga hauls to film this week, which is a bit mad. So today's haul, if you guys can't tell, it is all. <laughs> from the title, you can tell this is my manga haul for I'm um, filling up my gaps in my collection I like doing that if you guys don't know with my manga collection I don't like having gaps at all I like having all my volumes whether it's complete or up to date so I'm super excited to unbox these parcels as a lot of the volumes in here are my ongoing volumes that I'm currently needing to read in order to continue my series in my collection so yeah I'm super excited but I want to do a little announcement to let you guys know that there will be lots of manga hauls coming your way very soon also manga wrap-ups reviews also my manga collection of course I will do an organization video first as I need to organize my manga before I show you guys the whole collection as um yeah there's a lot of um sorting out needed to be done but um yeah I hope you guys are excited for this new journey I'm just so happy to be back at home right now but I will be leaving next week to go back to London but I will be coming back again it's just it's gonna be a lot of back and forth but I got this and then I'll be going back to uni in a week and a half I think or two weeks so everything's a bit of a blur but I hope you guys are excited and continue to enjoy this channel and its content I'm very thankful for all the love and support and also your lovely get well wishes as you guys know a few weeks ago I was super poorly and I still do sound a bit nasally still so I hope you guys don't mind as I know it can sound very annoying but I do sound a lot better compared to a few weeks ago but yeah um thank you so much for all your love and support like it really means a lot especially at dark times sometimes I read your comments it's just it makes me my day and I like how these videos help some of you guys as well as I'm just basically sharing my happiness but yeah before we get onto this video please give this video a like comment subscribe you know the drill and click on the bell and feel free to use my affiliate links down below for Blackwell's Amazon and Bright stuff to help support this channel and its future giveaways as you all know all the affiliate links money that's earned is all given back to you guys through giveaways as come on gotta share the love of manga as you all know I do love sharing my love for manga with you all and just my happiness in general as this is why I created the channel basically finding more friends that love the same hobby as me and basically share the love of manga and also giving back to the community of course like it's, it's just a nice thing and I just love how we have this little community where we can just share opinions share recommendations and basically have fun on this channel and that stuff but yeah I just want to say a big thank you for the love and support but yeah let's get on to unboxing these parcels because I need to read some of these manga because I've been waiting to read them. I have some manga that I read this week um, that I would like to share with you guys in a wrap up soon. But stay tuned. But I'll show you some of the manga that I want to sh um, share with my opinions in my wrap up. It will be Astora, Harry's Curse and some other great series that I can't wait. But yeah, um, let's get on to the first parcels. So with this stack of manga, I have parcels from Blackwells, Amazon, Books Please, eBay, literally everywhere. But I'm not too sure if this manga haul is an all-rounder, but I'm pretty sure this haul is gonna be mostly Jose or Shoujo, maybe. I feel like there will be some seinen series as you guys know, I do love um, seinen manga. But yeah, let's start with the first parcel. I'm not too sure which one this is from, but it looks like it'll be from like Blackwells, I think. But um, yeah, let's see. So the first manga I got, oh, actually it's not. I have a bookmark. So this parcel is by Books Please, as I got a little bookmark. Like the amount of bookmarks that I have stacked up from Blackwells is crazy. Can you see the amount of bookmarks? It's mad. But yeah, I'm surprised to see this from Books Please because normally they wrap it in like bubble wrap. But I got volume 15 of Demon Prince of Momichi House. Literally, I might binge read this series since I have all the volumes now, except for volume 4. If you haven't seen in my manga shopping with me, if you haven't checked that video out, I suggest you guys to check it out after this video. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing some manga shopping in um, London. But um, yeah, volume 4 literally impossible to find currently but hopefully it will go back in stock but i did read it digitally so i can continue reading my other volumes as if i didn't read it digitally 
I think it'll be forever until I can complete um, reading this whole series. So this is what volume 15 looks like, the spine and the back. I absolutely love this series with the art style, like so, so beautiful. It really does remind me of Kami Sama Kiss in a way as of course it's got the house, the yokai and that stuff, but still it is a very different series as it's about different things. But I just love how they have these um, color art pages inside. It's just so, so stunning. Yeah, absolutely love this series as every male character is basically be shown in so they're all handsome and I just like looking at handsome boys you know <laughs> I'm joking I'm joking I'm not really joking but you know gotta love my 2d men but um yeah I absolutely love this series and I can't wait to finish reading this series I think I might finish reading this series either like this week since I got volume 6 to 16 to go so yeah this is volume 15 so the next volume I got is um actually I'm not too sure what this is but it's quite thick I feel like it is my goodnight pum pum volume I think it's volume 3 let me just see oh there we go <laughs> I always struggle with unboxings as you guys know but yep hey I feel like the condition's amazing as well so this is oh let me, let me just sort out this mess so of course every Blackwell's parcel comes with um, a bookmark. Let me just add that to my bookmark collection. So this is volume three of Goodnight Pumpin. I'm surprised it's not um, plastic wrapped because all my other volumes of um, Goodnight Pumpin, if you guys can see, they're all plastic wrapped from um, Traveling Man, I believe. So I'm surprised this one's not plastic wrapped. But anyway, I'm not gonna like complain because look at the condition absolutely amazing i'm so happy to have picked up volume three as this volume was super hard to get i feel like it was out of stock for a very long time but um one of my subscribers messaged me on instagram and told me volume three got back in stock on amazon and i also saw it on blackwells so i picked it up on blackwells and i was just so happy i think blackwells do still have volume three so if you're missing volume three go over to the blackwells website and pick this volume up because i'm not too sure when other volumes are going to go back in stock again but yeah feel free to use my affiliate link down below if you want but um yeah this volume oh, I, I still can't believe i had this in my hand because like i said it's such a hard volume to get but i'm super excited to read pumpin i won't be reading this anytime soon i will be taking this with me to uni actually and then give you guys my full-on like impression review everything that you want to know about pumpin because i know there's quite a lot of mixed opinions with this series in the manga community as some people love it some people dropped it like there's just so many mixed opinions and i just want to see from my perspective if i love this series and whether it was worth breaking the bank to collect the series as i did collect all of these volumes quite quickly in my opinion as they're mostly like around 20 pound each this one i did get at i think 17 pound 99 or 15 pound 99 one of those but still very expensive but at the same time for this amount of thickness and chunkiness I think is definitely worth it but i'm super excited to read it do apologize if this video is a bit choppy as you guys know my camera has been cutting off i feel like it is literally on its last legs that i do need to get a new camera but i'm currently waiting for black friday to get one as this camera i think is about nearly 10 years old so uh, i think it's on its last legs but anyway continuing um with goodnight pimpin volume 3 so this series i'm really excited to read but I'm really gonna have my expectations at the lowest before like reading this whole series as I wanna give it my full attention when I do read it as I do wanna read it all in one go. But yeah, I will be taking this series to uni with me. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I don't go too depressed or anything like that, but I'm really in for the emotional roller coaster. But um, yeah, I actually heard quite a few people said it didn't even get them emotional. So I will read the whole series and let you guys know in a full video. I think it will be a video that's filled with spoilers. So it won't be spoilers free because um, I, I wouldn't know how to do a spoilers free review, to be honest. <laughs> but that's just my honest opinion. But I can't wait to read it. But I think it's going to be quite hefty to take to uni as yeah they're quite chunky but yeah that is volume three um i'll see if i can show you any of the pages but i really love the quality of the volumes if you can see they have these little flaps i noticed with like nice quality manga by viz <laughs> i know it sounds weird and basically a lot of their signature line they have these flaps and i absolutely love it i don't know what they're for i don't know if it's used for like bookmarks like you know when you say example you read a page you want to bookmark it so you just put it on the page and like that but it doesn't feel right so yeah i don't know what the flap is for but 
it does make the manga very premium but yeah that is volume 3 of goodnight pumpin super happy to get this if you guys are missing volume 3 do head on to the blackwell's website to pick it up but yeah that's volume 3 so the next um series that i got i have no idea what's in this parcel and let me find my scissors okay yeah this one is in a funny packaging and i'm pretty sure because it's in a funny packaging it's from ebay but um yeah let's let's just see what's inside oh, it's quite hard to cut so i'm pretty sure this is an ebay parcel um but yeah i got volume 13 of demon prince of momentary house as you can tell i was trying to basically fill up my gaps of um the series but yeah i'm so excited to have this nearly complete just missing volume four but yeah let me show you the inside cover art absolutely stunning like oh i just love it when manga just have like color pages at the front so so beautiful but yeah this is what the back looks like as well yeah i'm just looking at the front cover it just looks so dark and just mm, you know when it's dark it looks kind of sexy you know but <laughs> um yeah i'm absolutely loving this series so far but yeah this is volume 13 so the next volume i got i have no idea but i definitely know this is a blackwell's parcel in this parcel i got oh okay i'm surprised i picked this up i didn't think i actually picked this up but i got volume six of something's wrong with us by natsumi ando the reason why i said i was surprised to see this in the parcel is because i said i will slowly pick this up so i never thought i'll be up to date with this series so soon already but yeah this is volume six of something's wrong with us it does have a japanese drama and um yeah this is basically enemies to lovers manga should i say but this is a jose series so yeah this is what the front cover looks like of volume six and the spine the spine seems a bit different from the other volumes to be honest as it seems a little bit more like straight like it's a lot more harder rather than malleable i don't know if i'm making sense but it's just a lot harder <laughs> But yeah, this is what the back looks like with the grandpa. But yeah, I'm excited to read this volume actually. So I will be reading this after this haul as well. There's so many volumes that I'll be reading, to be honest, after this haul. But yeah, in this parcel, the next one. I just love these ones where you can just pull off the thingy majigger. This is <laughs> I feel like this is a Demon Prince of Mochi house haul now. This is volume 14. This is what it looks like absolutely stunning love the red and the back and then of course i'll show you guys the color pages as always i always just look so beautiful oh actually i don't want to spoil anything there we go oh wow oh wow i need a poster of this because wow what the frick it looks so beautiful isn't it stunning so yeah, this is volume 14. But yeah, let's hope this is not another demon print from Momichi House. Let's hope it's another volume as I feel like I don't want this haul to become demon print from Momichi House, that's why. So the next one... <laughs> Wait. Yeah. yeah, boy. So the next volume I got from um, Blackwells is volume 6 of Sweat and Soap. You guys know this is my favourite romance series and seinen series of all time. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. I recommend it to anyone. Like, this can cater towards any audience, but you had to be 16 plus, as it does have mature elements, such as, like, some explicit scenes. But this is one amazing manga that I can't wait to read. Um, volume 7 is actually currently out as well. I think volume 8 will be coming out in either September or October. So, this series is complete and very 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 soon and i'm so sad that it's gonna finish so soon because this is literally my favorite series i gave this series a 10 out of 10 but yeah i haven't picked up volume 7 yet as the price is quite expensive at the moment i noticed with um sweat and soap a lot of the volumes nowadays is a lot more expensive as when i first picked up this series this was about seven pound 99 but nowadays all the volumes are costing around like eight pound 99 nine pound 24 like nearer to the retail price which is not very money friendly for me as you guys know i don't work anymore so i no longer have any income or salary so i'm literally relying on my savings right now but um yeah so i'm just waiting for volume 7 to go down in price maybe eight pound 20 then i'll pick it up but currently i think it's around nine pounds something on amazon they did have one for 
£8.99 on Travelling Man, but unfortunately, Volume 7 was out of stock on the website. But anyway, this is Volume 6, and yeah, I'm super excited to read this volume as I've been waiting to read this volume for a few months now, so I'm so ready to just dive into this um, volume after I finish this haul. But yeah, I'm going to show you some pages just to show you guys the art style. I know this is Volume 6, but I feel like with this series, there's not really much spoilers in a way unless you read the whole thing. But I just want to show you guys inside but yeah absolutely love the romance between these two characters like it's so beautiful i know a lot of people have said that they did felt like how the series started the relationship was a bit rushed but in my opinion i feel like with like at that age when you find the one like things tend to move a bit fast anyway so i feel like the series is quite realistic and i just love how it's such a non-toxic relationship and it's just yeah, I just love this series so much. What I meant to say in better words is that they have a very healthy relationship and it's just so lovable. There's nothing to fault about this series at all. Like, it's absolutely amazing. Like, I recommend it to anyone if you're 16 plus. Like, this series is just top notch, 10 out of 10. But yeah, that is Sweat and Soap Volume 6. So the next parcel, I'm super excited to unbox this. Let me just um, cut this open. So this parcel, I believe this is by Books Please, as I remember I had a few parcels from them and they were wrapped like this. So, oh, let's see what's inside. <laughs> I'm so happy, oh my God. So basically I picked up um, After the Rain Volume 4 and Vol- Ooh, why is it a bit, oh, it's a bit dirty here, if you can see. That's why I've stuck. So I picked up Volume 4 and Volume 5 of After the Rain. So now I do have this series complete. I don't oh, if I can reach. So I have the first three volumes here in my collection. This will be another series that I will take with me to uni. But um, yeah, I won't be reading this like anytime soon as I don't think I can finish this all in one go as they all are very chunky volumes. But yeah, this is complete now in my collection. I believe in total, this should be 10 volumes. So it's two volumes in one. But yeah, I'm super excited to read the series. I believe this is another scene in series and it is an age gap romance. However, from what I've heard, it's not like romance that actually happens. It's more like, actually, I, know, I don't know if I'm describing it well. Basically, this girl knows that she shouldn't be in a relationship with the older man, but the thoughts are there that type of thing i don't know all i know is this is a very wholesome series i hope i didn't butcher it or like turned you away from the series as i know a lot of people have said so many good things about it and i'm super excited to read it as i know it's up my alley but um yeah this series i'm super excited to read and i'm so happy to have it um complete in my collection as you guys know i do love filling the gaps in my collection and having everything complete as it's just i don't know it irks me when i see like big gaps in my collection but yeah this is volume four and five of after rain so this is what volume four looks like the front cover the spine and the back i absolutely love the like art style as well i know it does have an anime but i haven't checked it out yet but um, do let me know if you have checked out this series or the anime down below i would love to know your opinions and the spine and the back but yeah they are very very chunky manga but i absolutely love how this looks like i can't believe it's all complete actually let me just show you all the volumes they look so nice like oh 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 I do know a lot of people have this series in their collection as I see it in their collection videos or on Instagram and the spines just look so beautiful on the shelves and yeah I'm definitely going to give volume 5 a bit of a wipe as it looks a bit sticky but um, let me just put the volumes back up. But yeah so the next volume that I got I have no idea what I got but it's from Blackwells and that is We Shall See. <laughs> yeah. So the next volume I got is volume 6 of Perfect World. I actually recently picked up volume 7 as well. It's currently on its way, but this volume I can't wait to read. You guys know this is a series that I'm super invested in. As I'm currently up to date, I do have um, volume 1 to 5. And yeah, I've just been waiting for volume 6 to come out and to get a print so I can read it. And I'm so excited. I know this series is going to complete soon as well. I feel like with all my like favourite romances, they're going to complete soon and it's so sad but um it is what it is but yeah i can't wait to read more of this definitely this will be the first volume i'll be reading after my haul but um yeah let me just show you the front cover and the spine and the back 
big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. It's created specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. So with Skillshare, they do have a lot of different classes um, such as topics from illustration, graphic design, freelance entrepreneurship, web development, like literally anything you can think of. Like if you want to create a YouTube channel, they have videos about film and video, also marketing and just everything that you can really think of. So personally, lately, you guys know I've been using Skillshare for a few months now and I've just been diving into graphic design and I've been checking out Sophia Yeshi's classes and I just love how she tells us and breaks down her passion and also gives us the breakdown of graphic design and her works. Personally, what I love about Skillshare is that it allows you to explore new skills and also find a new passion of yours. But yeah, so the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. But yeah, let's get back into the manga haul. So it looks like I only have three parcels left. So it seems like this is a very short haul, but don't you worry, the next upcoming hauls they're gonna be long because I'm literally doing two big parcels each pair of haul, which is mad, but I'm excited to show you guys what other series that I picked up. Definitely those hauls will be more of an all-rounder as I picked up Shonen series, Seinen series, like literally everything. And also a lot of the volumes that I picked up are quite popular currently in the manga community. I think you guys would have noticed with my collection, I do have quite a lot of like the more ongoing and popular series as you guys know i started collecting manga about five years ago i do apologize as my camera literally just cut off and i feel like i'm not used to filming as it's been a while but anyway back to what we're saying so i've been collecting manga for five years now and um when i first started collecting manga i basically completed all the manga series that i wanted to collect then i went on a manga hiatus basically i stopped reading manga and stopped collecting manga for a good three years i would say and then i started doing youtube and also found the inner passion of um collecting manga again like my inner otaku was basically calling out for me to collect manga and basically yeah that explains why i pick up a lot more recent series as back if like five years ago i picked up all the series i want and then now getting back into hobby I'm picking up all the newer series so that's why I pick up a lot of newer series but anyway the next series I picked up is this is a Blackwell's parcel and it is <sighs> it is a sign affection um volume free so I've been waiting for this volume to come out for ages now and I didn't know when this arrived as this is in my stack of manga but wow this cover looks absolutely beautiful. I did not expect volume three to be in here. I'm so, so happy. So if you guys don't know, this is literally my favorite shoujo that is out currently and it is an ongoing series. So this series is by Sue Morishita and is about this girl who has a hearing impairment and this boy who is called Itsomi, which you guys know I absolutely adore him and love him to bits. He's basically multilingual and he has great social skills and that. And he's interested in this girl who is Yuki and sign language and this is just such a fluffy series I haven't heard anyone in the community that disliked this series so far like everyone absolutely loved this and yeah this is definitely one of my favorite ongoing shoujo series that's out currently but let me show you some of the pages I feel like the first two yeah the front page has a color page which looks absolutely beautiful and what does it say here says i always thought i just wanted to watch this series is absolutely adorable and i recommend it to any shoujo readers or joseo readers because this is absolutely amazing and i just love how light the art style looks it's just so pretty and beautiful but yeah i'm so happy to have volume three i will be reading this as well after this haul so so excited i will be reading a lot of manga today because there's just so many manga that i've been waiting for so long to read but um, yeah, this is so beautiful. I just love the whole cover art and like, yeah, it's just stunning, it's stunning. But yeah, I can't wait to read this. But yeah, that is volume three of A Sign of Affection. So the last two parcels, I have no idea what's inside here. So there we go. So the next volume I got is, 
<laughs> oh my god, god i didn't expect this so this is oh i didn't know the spine was purple as well so this is volume six of living room martin Arkansas. i think i did pick this up for a um, more of expensive price but i know it's gone down now i think but i did pick this up for like eight pound seventy near to nine pound this series i have definitely fell in love with it i feel like the more i read it the more in love i get with this series um because like literally after reading volume five i was like i need volume six right now but yeah this is absolutely adorable series it does have an age gap but it's such a fun series as it's set in a boarding house but yeah i absolutely love this series i'll show you some pages as well even though it's quite late in the volumes i feel like it's not really like too much spoiler but um so you can see the art style absolutely love miko and martinagasan and the other characters in the boarding house this is such a fun series that i recommend to anyone i feel like it does take you a while to get into this series and be like oh you want more i feel like once i reached about volume three or four that's when i was like yeah i need more of this series and i'm definitely more committed compared to when i was before when i picked up this series at first but um yeah this is a great series i can't recommend it enough it's so good if you're into age gap series and you're into just a bunch of fluffiness i recommend it to you i'm surprised to see so much jose and shoujo but i hope you guys don't mind i do promise in my next upcoming hauls it will be more of an all-rounder but um yeah let's see what's inside here so in here is oh this is a surprise this is volume four of komi can't communicate so if you guys remember in one of my shopping with me videos i did mention that volume four was hard to get now it's a lot more easier to get and i regret buying this so early as um i remember when it came back in stock in blackwells i picked this up for like retail price or even maybe a bit more than retail price unfortunately which now you can get this for like four pounds something i think on traveling man but yeah sometimes with manga series is best to wait and some series is just better to pick it up on the day currently have eight volumes of comey can't communicate i haven't read past volume one yet but um yeah i'll have to see how much i enjoy this series but i feel like with this series i have to be in a certain mood to read it as i think it's because like it's not something that i feel gravitated towards straight away so i have to read this when i'm just on the chill mood and i just want to pick me up type of manga then i'll read um comey can't communicate but yeah Currently, I don't feel the urge to read any of the volumes yet, even though I do have up to volumes eight. On a normal day-to-day -day basis, I won't pick this up to read, but yeah, that's just my opinion with Comey Can't Communicate, but I'm still excited to read more of this series as I have picked up eight volumes. So for me to pick up that many volumes from just reading volume one it shows that i did enjoy it a lot but it's just but currently i'm just more interested in my other series at the moment but i will go back to komi can't communicate but right now it is not my priority and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little manga haul definitely i will be reading most of these volumes after this haul which i'm super excited but yeah i hope this video wasn't too long or too short but still enjoyable at the same time but yeah stay tuned for my future manga hauls as they will be long ones as i I think i picked up roughly about 150 volumes in the past two months so yeah i know it's quite a lot of manga but i'm excited to show you guys what i picked up and that stuff but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and then comment down below and subscribe if you're new here but yeah i hope you guys have a blessed day and i'll see you guys next week bye